Mushrooms are actually the original internet. All of the roots are interconnected underneath the soil of forest. I am so excited. I can't believe how lucky I am. How lucky you are. How lucky we are to meet scientist, biologist, TED Ed speaker. And she's only 16. Olivia Nugent. Hi, Olivia. Hi, future chicken. Olivia, we have so much to get to today. Let's dig in. I crack myself up. Dig in, because we're going to talk about mushrooms and dirt. Olivia, you started working with mushrooms because of your love of STEM and the environment. Tell us, what inspired you? So my mom currently works and has been working for a conservation nonprofit since I was a kid. So my entire life, I've been introduced to conservation and environmentalism. So at family dinner as a kid, we'd be talking about what she did that day at work and her love for the environment transferred onto me and I carry that with me today. Wow, we have so much in common. My mom loved the environment too. <laughs> I realized that I needed to do better to work harder at connecting with the planet and voila, here we are today. Tell me, Olivia. How do you inspire others? I think I can inspire other young girls to be involved in environmental sciences and environmental engineering just by seeing me doing it because it isn't very common to see many young women in science and engineering specifically for the environment. So I think just my presence and me being outspoken about my love and admiration for the environment will inspire other young women to do the same. You are for sure a planet protector. Can you tell all of us about a specific time you inspired someone? My entire family knows about mycelium because I talk about it all the time. And I remember one time my little cousin came up to me and she was so excited about mycelium and to learn about it. That she asked if at Thanksgiving we can use some of the silverware I made. No way! Okay, now you have to tell us a little bit more about what mycelium actually is. Yeah, so mycelium is part of the mushroom root, or the mushroom hydra, which is the official term. And it's a carbon negative, which basically means it takes carbon that's emitted from the atmosphere and turns it into fertilizer for the soil. <gasps> fertilizer for the soil? The worm is going to love this! It's also fully biodegradable and it's used as a plastic substitute. And to do this, we basically grind up the mushroom roots and put it in with wood chips in order to turn it into this plastic substitute. And I made several things. Uh, I'm afraid to ask this question, but uh, do you eat? Mushrooms? Funny enough, I do not like mushrooms at all. I just like working with them. Oh, phew. <laughs> Bello is such a fan. And well, if you ate mushrooms. <laughs> Could you say hi to Bello? It would mean so much to them. Hi, Bello. That will make their day today, and then they will forget about it tomorrow. Speaking of that, Tell us about mushroom regeneration. Mushrooms are the original internet. All of the roots are interconnected underneath the soil of forest. They're so regenerative and so interconnected that regeneration makes mycelium really easy to work with. Because if, say, you break a piece off of it, you can put it back in a dark room and it will actually really grow to its former position or shape. Wait, so you're saying that mushrooms and mycelium have been compared to our internet? So that could mean that mushrooms have inspired TikTok and Instagram? Basically. I think my mind is blown! Oh, no. Do you see being able to make more items in the future out of mycelium? Yeah, so me and a team that we call BioBench have actually made two benches out of this. And we made another dining set, we made a table and some chairs as well. But our main thing is our benches. I'm still thinking about benches made out of mushrooms. Maybe we could make a bio barn out of mushrooms. Oh, the possibilities are endless. Can you tell I'm a passionate bird? Olivia, what advice and tips would you give the amazing kids out there who want to help the planet? There's a lot of times where I see people just throw stuff out of their cars or throw something on the ground. So it's really important to just throw stuff in the trash can. And maybe when you're a little older, you can explore more research opportunities on the environment and delve into the issues we're facing a little more deeply. But right now, it's just very important to recycle, conserve energy, conserve water, stuff as simple as that. What about a 
upcycling or thrifting. Isn't that a fun way to help the planet? Yeah, so a lot of the clothes that I do buy, I buy from thrift shops just because it's not going directly to fast fashion brands. Even if it might be inexpensive and cute clothing, it's not worth the environmental deterioration that most of those brands cause. If you wanna to talk to your parents about buying more sustainable clothes, the first thing you should do is you should research the brands that you usually buy and ask your parents if this is sustainable or this looks sustainable to them, and they'll probably have a pretty good answer. And usually sustainable brands may be a little more expensive. And what should we do when we grow out of our clothes? I mean, I won't grow out of my feathers, but you know what I mean, for humans. So when you're done with your clothing, instead of just throwing it away or leaving it in your closet to not wear, it's great to donate to a local thrift shop or a local church, anything like that, so it can be loved and used by other kids. Olivia, we covered so much today about mycelium and actions you can take to help the planet. Well, I think we need a part two for this conversation. But before we go, how about one last message for our viewers? I know they already look up to you. The most important thing that I want all of you to know is to just keep working on environmental issues and keep caring about the environment. Because the most important thing is your passion and your energy going towards this issue. Thank you, thank you, Olivia. I'm so excited that we were able to chat and learn. And remember, together we, we make, make the, future. the future. Bye, future chicken. Bye.